Lesson nine, homework. Number one, we are working on adding decimals for this. I'm going to use the place value chart because I think it helps you to understand what we're actually doing a little bit better before we start using the standard algorithm. So we have three tenths plus four tenths. I'm gonna put it in the place value chart. We have three tenths plus four tenths and that gets us seven tenths. Part B, we have 12 tenths plus nine tenths. So I'm gonna do this one out a place value chart because we're all just tenths. 12 tenths plus nine tenths. Well, 12 plus nine is 21. So we have 21 tenths. Now 21 tenths, if I put that in the place value chart, remember the last digit that we say always ends in the place value that we say. So if I said 21 tenths, the one is in the tenths place. So we have one tenths, 21 tenths, which ends up being two and one tenth. So we have two in the ones place, two ones and one tenth. Okay, C, three hundredths plus four hundredths. Well, that's seven hundredths. 27 hundredths plus seven hundredths. 27 plus seven is 34 hundredths. So if I have 34 hundredths, I'm gonna put that in my place value chart. 30, the four ends in the hundredths place. I'll put the three there. So we have 34 hundredths, which means I have three in the tenths place, three tenths and four hundredths. Clear this out. Four thousandths plus three thousandths is seven thousandths. Thirty-nine thousandths plus five thousandths. Thirty-nine plus five is forty-four thousandths. So now it wants me to break it up into hundredths and thousandths. If I put it in my place value chart, thirty-four thousandths. Forty-four thousandths. How many hundredths do I have? Well, in the hundredths place, I have a four, four hundredths, and four thousandths. Let's see, five tenths plus seven thousandths. This isn't quite as easy to add, so I'm going to put these in the place value chart. I'll do five tenths plus seven thousandths. So I'm gonna put seven thousandths down here. And it wants me to get the answer in thousandths. So in order to figure out how many thousandths five tenths is, I'm gonna add zeros. It looks like five tenths is equal to five hundred thousandths. If I add these together, zero plus seven is seven, I get five hundred seven thousandths. Okay. Four ones, four tenths plus four tenths is how many tenths? Well, we need to figure out how many tenths are in four ones. I have four ones. That is 40 tenths. So I would have 40 tenths plus four tenths plus four tenths, which would be 48 tenths. And the last one, eight thousandths plus six ones plus eight thousandths. Converting to thousandths, these two are already thousandths, so let's see how many thousandths are in six holes. So we have six holes, six ones. So that would be six thousand thousandths. So we have eight plus six thousand plus eight would give us six thousand sixteen thousandths. Okay, now it wants us to just solve using the standard algorithm. So I'm going to get rid of this place value chart. And just going to be adding using the standard algorithm. We need to make sure that we are lining up the decimal points, which helps us to line up the place values. So we have zero and four tenths plus zero and seven tenths. It's so important that you line up your decimal points, which then helps you make sure that you're adding the tenths place to the tenths place and the hundredths place to the hundredths place and so on. Otherwise, we're gonna be adding, you're gonna get a completely dip, wrong answer. So four plus seven is 11. So I'll put my one down, carry the one. One plus zero plus zero is one. And then I'm just gonna bring my 
decimal point straight down and I get 1 and 1 tenth. Alright, 2 and 4 hundredths plus 7 hundredths. So 4 plus 7 is 11. 1, put my place about my decimal point there and we get 2 and 11 hundredths. 6 and 4 tenths plus 3 and 7 tenths. 4 plus 7 is 11. Carry the 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. Bring the decimal point straight down. 10 and 1 tenth. 56 and 4 hundredths plus 3 and 7 hundredths. 4 plus 7 is 11. Carry the 1. Bring down the decimal point. 6 plus 3 is 9. Get 59 and 11 hundredths. 72 and 564 thousandths plus... Oh, see? If I had kept doing this, my decimal points wouldn't have been lined up. I would have added numbers in the wrong place value and gotten a completely wrong answer. So, we need to make sure that the 5 goes in the 1's place, lined up with the 2, that is the other 1's place. So 5 and 137 thousandths. 4 plus 7 is 11, carry the 1. 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 2 plus 5 is 7, and 7. So we have 77 and 700 one thousandths. 75 and 604 thousandths plus 22 and 296 thousandths. 4 plus 6 is 10. Carry the 1. 1 plus 0 plus 9 is 10. Carry the 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. Plus 2 is 9. Bring over our decimal point. 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, 97 and 900 thousandths. Or you could leave it as 97 and 9 tenths, either way. Number 3. Walkway over the Hudson, a bridge that crosses the Hudson River in Poughkeepsie, is 2 and 63 thousandths meters long. Amping Bridge, which was built in China 850 years ago, is 2 and 7 hundredths kilometers long. What is the total span of both bridges? So if we want to know the total span, that means that we're going to be adding them together. We want to know how much they are together. So we have 2 and 63 thousandths plus 2 and 7 hundredths. I have an extra spot here. I'm just going to add a zero just to make it easier to look at and make sure I don't get confused by anything. 3 plus 0 is 3, 6 plus 7 is 13, carry the 1, 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, put my decimal point, 2 plus 2 is 4, so we get 4 and 133 thousandths, don't forget your labor, label, kilometers. Leah likes to walk her dog on the walkway of, over the Hudson. If she walks across and back, how far will she and her dog walk? So. We need to go back to part A. The walkway over the Hudson is two and 63 thousandths kilometers long one way, but we need to walk back. So we need to add those together twice so that we can get a there and back distance. So two and 63 thousandths plus two and 63 thousandths. Three plus three is six. Six plus six is 12. Carry the one. One plus zero plus zero is one and four. So we get four and 126 thousandths kilometers is the total distance that Leo would be walking her dog. For his parents' anniversary, Danny spends $5.87 on a photo. He also buys a balloon for $2.49 and a box of strawberries for $4.50. How much money does he spend all together? So we want to know how much he's spending all together. We're going to add all of these together to figure out how much money he has spent. Now, I always tell my students to only add two numbers at a time. When you start adding three, four, five numbers at a time, 
there's so much room for error. So I'm going to just start by adding 5 and 87 hundredths plus 2 and 49 hundredths. 7 plus 9 is 16. Carry the 1, 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 4 is 13, carry the 1, 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So $8.36 plus, now we need to add the $4.50. I'm just going to carry it on as a longer addition problem. 6 plus 0 is 6, 3 plus 5 is 8, and 8 plus 4 is 12. So we get... $12.86.